Yo, what's up, YouTube? Y'all know what this is. I'm back with another video. Um, did y'all see the uh, title? Yes. Um, I tried out for a semi-pro basketball team, and I'm gonna um be discussing this with y'all about you know how y'all got started, what happened in between, and the ending, and all that stuff, and all uh, everything like that. So um, let me just start. Uh, back in like. I think two, between 2007, I think between 2006 and 2008, but I think it was 2008. I'm not sure. I can't remember the year. Um, it was a long time ago. It was. It had been over 10 years ago, um, 10 or more years ago. But anyway, the year's not important really because it was a long time back. I was, it had been, it was 10 years ago. So it was back in 2008 going 2009. Cause I think I was about to turn 31 then, so it's too bad. I say 2009, but anyway, um, yeah, uh, that year, um, I think it was like January, beginning of January, something like that. I was um, actually playing on a winter league basketball team um, in my hometown, um, and uh, I've been doing it for years, like playing. <clears throat> excuse me, summer league and winter league and stuff. And um, what we used to do is like just post my stats um, on uh, on Facebook or whatever like that. And um, you know, just just sharing that I was playing basketball. I was still playing basketball and stuff, and you know, just show, sharing everybody what I was doing on the court and all that stuff. Like I wasn't no no high score or nothing like that. Uh, a big high assist leader and like that. It just the small things that people was noticing that I was noticing that what I was doing that I was uh, able to do on the court to contribute. Um, I think at that time I was averaging probably like maybe six to eight points a game. I know it's not a lot, but um, for the team I was on, it was a lot because um, I, I can't remember the team that I was on actually that year. It was, I played on so many different teams, but um, anyway, um, I would, like I said, I would average between like six to eight or nine points a game. Uh, <clears throat> I would get a lot of rebounds all the time, at least six or seven a game, if not more than that. Um, I know my assists weren't that high because I played mainly on the wing and um, and in the post, like between the like three, four, and the five, or whatever. Um, uh, steals, probably like one or two a game, something like that. Like I said, my my numbers weren't all that high, something like that. It just um, <clears throat> the way I played, and I you know played pretty good defense, um, hustling uh, for rebounds, loose ball, um, just little small stuff that uh, they don't show in the stat sheet most of the time. But anyway, like I said, I uh, well, uh, post my stats on Facebook, you know, just sharing stuff to uh, my friends and uh, family, stuff like that. And um, having to be a guy, uh, I guess uh, I was mutual friends of somebody else that he was following somebody on Facebook. And um, he contacted me about uh, this team in Texas, um, the Texas Rim Rockers, uh, to be exact. Um, Telling me about the organization, uh, you know, about the whole league and the team, and about itself and stuff, all about stuff like that. And he was like, "I see that you've been sharing your um your basketball stats on Facebook and stuff, blah blah." blah. And um, I just want to send you an invite to uh for a trial uh to come down to Texas and try for the team or whatever. You might be a good um, addition to the team or whatever. And I was kind of. Get the color first because, like I said, my numbers weren't all that high and mind blowing and stuff like that. Uh, there were just decent numbers that I would put up um, after each game or whatever. And um, I guess it caught an eye for some reason um, that I was kind of like a good player to have on this team or whatever like that. And, uh, excuse me. Um, what happened after that? Uh, so I messaged back. And I told him, okay, it's cool. Uh, I'll check you out. So he sent me an invite, you know, a little uh, information, a uh, little form to fill out and send back. Um, 
<clears throat> then I had to get like a, uh, I think a money order or something like that for the uh, the invitation fee. I mean the trial fee. Send that to him. Uh, it's like an early bird special if you uh, send it. If you apply and um, sign up for early, get like a discount. I think it was like twenty five bucks versus uh, fifty if you paying on a certain day after uh, after a certain day. If you paying as soon as you get there, would like that. But uh, end up doing that and um i was pumped out with the hype but like i said at first i was skeptical and so what i did um i went online checked the team out it was legit it was a actually it was a new a new team that year uh it was the first year team for the uh the aba uh american basketball association league and um <clears throat> and so i Found out that it was legit, so I was ready for it. And um, I was, like I said, I was excited, um, pumped up, ready to go. Um, and so I had to start, you know, broadcasting on Facebook and stuff um, about the team. People tell me, uh, congratulations, good luck to you, blah, blah, like that. And I, people was like, showing me all kind of support and love and stuff. And uh, I really appreciate, I really appreciate everybody that did that, that year. Um, if y'all watching this, y'all know who y'all are. Uh, I really appreciate y'all showing me love and support. Uh, my family, my family members, um, uh, friends, my close friends, um, Facebook friends, or whatever like that. And then, um, so I went on the guy. Uh, I think one, no, one of his players that he had on the team already. I think he was on a different team and went over to that team. Um, he contacted me on Facebook. I seen that I was friends with him. And so me and him got real cool for like talking back and forth about the team, about basketball and stuff. Uh, he was a guy, he was like 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, he was a, uh, a post player, but he was very skinny. But it ain't the real way I'm talking about this. Um, he was on the team, and he was talking about um, how he played on a different team, and he came up to that team, blah, 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 like a free agent. And um, that, you know, he hoped that I met the team, and me and him, you know, you know be best buddies and stuff like that and uh, chill and hang out together and um, get a bond or whatever uh, on off the court. And I'm like, yeah, cool. So um, then there's another guy. Uh, oh yeah, his name was Damian Todd. I never forget him. He do cool in here. He's from, he from uh, Michigan, I think, from Michigan. Um, he had got an invite too. So I guess, I think Damian was like actually looking for a team to play for like and um, reached out to the coach and got an invite um, versus me getting found by the coach on Facebook and getting an invite. And so um, got cool with, with Damian Todd over on um, Facebook. Uh, me and him got real cool and stuff. We were talking about the team and he, he was a young guy too. He was like, I think like a year or two out of high school and um, he was real pumped up. He was excited so I was telling him um, like for like being ready when he come try out to be like, you no, know, play the best, uh, hustle hard. Um, don't try to show out and try to stand out in front of, in front of everybody, in front of the coach, stuff like that. Just um, do the best you can and show that you're a coachable player and that you, um, you're there for the team, not be for yourself. But, um, but yeah, so, so at that point on, I was cool with Damien, then I was cool with the other guy. I can't remember his name for nothing. Uh, so that's when I really started, you know, when the, uh, cause, like I said, it was like the beginning of January, maybe the end of December, beginning of January, when all that was, um, getting set up for us, like me talk to the coach and also I was playing the Winter League team, stuff like that. And so that trial was in June, I think, June or July. So between that time, I was like constantly playing basketball, constantly, uh, trying to get better, trying to stay in shape. Uh, got to the point where I was um, smoking black and mild at the time, so I ended up you know, quit smoking black and mild and stuff. Uh, I wasn't drinking, so I wasn't worried about that, so I was trying to focus on staying in shape. Uh, we'll get in better shape, you know, um, just be prepared for the trials and try to make the team and stuff. And um, so I tell my buddy, uh, with Barnes about it. And um, I think he had uh, came home 
Uh, damn, I think he was, he came home after his junior year of college, and I think he was sitting a year out or whatever, a semester out or whatever. And uh, so I told him about the thing. I told my co told the coach about him, and so they got in contact, and so he sent an invite to Will Barnes as well. So he come try out. So me and him both went to the try out. Um, mind you, Will, I knew he would make the team. This guy was one of the best guards I've ever seen, like, come out of Alabama. That guy was crazy. He played in my old high school, but he was, he was much younger than me. Um, I think like nine, 10 years um, younger than me. But uh, me and him been cool since he was like in ninth grade. But um, <laughs> yeah, I knew he had made the team, so I made sure I talked to him about it because he was uh, trying to go pro at the college anyway. And so that'd be a good opportunity for him. <laughs> So, um, so coming up time for uh, trials, uh, we had to rent a car because I couldn't rely on the car that I had to make it all the way to Texas. Because um, for one, I never did get it serviced in time to be able to uh, to be make it up there, and um, plus, Will said he'll help me with um, you no know, gas money, eating money. Uh, hotel um but I, I took care of the uh rental car I paid for that for the insurance and the rental car and all stuff like that so he didn't worry about that he just worried about you know paying for his food and helped me pay for the um for a uh, little bit of gas and um the hotel so okay it's going fast for a little bit uh we get ready to go to um Texas so we got the rental car. I had got it the day before. Uh, Cause we had to leave. No, I got it that evening. So we had to leave like late that night. I had like a nine hour drive from home um, from Alabama. So left that night, probably like, maybe like nine, 10 o'clock that night, uh, head to Texas. Of course we had to go through Mississippi, uh, I think Kentucky and, uh, we actually got lost in Louisiana. Well, that was crazy, we got lost. Um, we both were tired, we were taking turns driving and stuff. And um, took the wrong exit, ended up being on some part of town in Louisiana. They had to stop at the gas station for directions to get back on the um, <coughs> on the uh, interstate. Cause we didn't have like a GPS like on our phone and nothing like that. But, uh, I don't even think I had a smartphone. No, I didn't, I think I had like a flip phone. But. No, I don't know. I'm not I'm getting off topic. Damn, I, I hate when I do this shit. But uh, anyway, uh, we had, I had printed out the direction, so it was hard. Anyway, talked to the gas station, talked to some Louisiana people to get back on the interstate. Um, they were pretty cool. And so, boom, back on the interstate, back on the right track. Ended up getting, ended up getting lost again. So another gas station to get directions. And so we finally made it to Texas. Uh... <laughs> I think trials was like that morning at like 10 or 11. No, I think it was like at nine. So we didn't get to the trials to like 10, almost 11 o'clock, something like that, if not later than that. Uh, I think the trials were ending at two, at one or two. So we were scared and nervous. We think he gonna, they were gonna turn us around, uh, but what I kept doing was calling the couple at night, we on our way, we on our way. And so he was cool with it. I knew we came from Mount Bell with a nine hour drive. Um, finally made it there, got inside. Now this would really kind of threw us off cause we thinking the place we going to is gonna be like a big like Coliseum thing, uh, arena, whatever like that with, uh, with the team logos and banners and stuff everywhere. None of that. Go inside, you think it'll be you no know, big bleachers and stuff. Uh, you no, know, the whole nine. <clears throat> for like uh, a pro team, you think. None of that. It was actually a community, um, a community rec center we went to that we had the trials at. Yeah, so um, got up in there. It was a lot of guys. That's my a lot. I'm talking about, it had been at least, at least over 50 or 60 guys in there trying out. 
I'm talking about it was alive, guys. That's why they came from all everywhere. That guys come from New York. Guys came from California. Uh, the lot from Georgia. Uh, Kentucky. Uh, Jersey. I'm talking about they came from everywhere, man. Mississippi. I'm talking about from everywhere. So, I'm nervous because, uh, one, never played college ball. Never played pro ball. I played high school ball. But after that, just I was just playing summer league, winter league. And so, I'm kind of nervous because these guys uh, out there, I'm talking about like balling, 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 hooping. Um, had a few big guys out there, like 6'8", 6'9". Maybe the tallest probably was like 6'8", really. Most of those guys was like around my height, uh, shorter. Had a whole lot of short, shorter guys out there and stuff. Um, but it really don't matter. Size doesn't really matter in basketball, really. So, um, yeah, so we got up in there, uh, met up with the coach. Uh, he didn't even have on a shirt with a team name on it, nothing like that. He had like, uh, then like a polo shirt and some khaki pants or something like that. That was it. You kind of expect that, but you think you'd have a team logo name on something like that. But you could have got a marker or something, right? Texas Rim Rockers on the shirt or something like that. But no, he didn't. But uh, so we didn't think about that at first until afterwards. Um, so we went, he said, uh, you know, just stretch, get ready, run a couple of laps to get loose, get warmed up, and uh, we'll fit you in. Cause what they were doing was actually just doing five on five scrimmages out there. They wouldn't, they wouldn't do like no skill uh, evaluations and they're like that. They were just, uh, Put you on the court, five on five shirts versus shirts versus skins, and just uh, just like playing pickup. So <laughs> it's kind of funny though. But um, so me and Will we go stretch, uh, do about three to five laps around the court to get loose. Um, so we waiting to get put in to the five on five scrimmages. Uh, it just one court now, so everybody had to wait. We had to wait our turn to get on the court. Um, to play, and um, I think we, me and Will's on different teams. I wanted to be on the same team as Will because we played pretty good together. But I know him for a long time. Um, ended up playing on different teams. I didn't know any of the guys on the team. That's why I didn't want to be on the team of other guys I didn't know. Um, I wanted to be on the team with Will. So, so got out there in the court, start playing. They wouldn't pass me the ball. Had a lot of guys ball hogging and stuff, and um. They can play it, don't get me wrong. They, they can play, but uh, they, the chemistry wasn't there. I know uh, we all did not meet each other for the first time, but still, you know, pass the ball around, play team ball, play organized ball. So, so I can tell then that some of those guys were not going to make the team because they were not uh, team-oriented. They were not the type of players that were um, fit well in an organized game, really. They ain't a lot of street ballers out there and stuff. Um, I still kind of, I still kind of nervous though, but um, <clears throat> so I ended up playing on the, um, on the team before Will got out there. So got out there, like I'm saying, they won't pass me the ball. Um, I got some rebounds though, uh, a couple of steals, um, made good passes. I took one shot, missed it. Um, that was it. I didn't shoot them, but I, I know, but I know, but don't shoot the light at all in games. For us, like uh, organized ball, I take. Wide open shot, but I, I did pretty good out there as far as like uh, playing within the team and hustling and stuff, getting rebounds. Uh, like I said, I had a couple of steals, uh, good passes and stuff. And so um, that was it. So I got off the uh, court. Like I said, like I don't play that one game. Kind of like I said, we got there late. So a lot of guys probably played like two, three games um, scrimmaging. But then Will got out there. Will was dominating. He was killing out. People like, who that dude with that? I like, they my, my buddy. We just came from Alabama. Uh, like, where he, where he played? I said, he played at Hillcrest in high school. And uh, he played at uh, Tennessee Tech in college. Um, I'm like, man, he going to make the team. Like, I'm pretty sure I already knew that. So, yeah, he going to make the team. And so, um, like I said, he was out there killing down Maiden. Uh, seeing the coach watching him and stuff. Um, so, got done. Like, like I said, Will, Will was killing and stuff. And so we got done. Coach got everybody together. So we gonna um, 
give y'all a call. No, we had to come back to the trial the next day. He had two, a two-day trial. Um, I think it was that Saturday or Sunday. So we had to go, go find a hotel room. Uh, we found a hotel room. It took us a long time to find a decent hotel that wasn't too, too pricey. Found us out one. It was like the cheapest one around town. It was like 80 some bucks. It was kind of cheap for Texas. Versus you can find one cheaper than that in, in Alabama for like 35 bucks. So it's not cheaper than that. But anyway, um, so we got a hotel room. Uh, gotta go get something to eat. We got something to eat, came back, ate. Uh, now we actually rode around town to try to get you know familiar and see what's going on up in Texas. We was in uh, Denton, Texas. There was a part of Texas we was in Denton, um, kind of close to Dallas or whatever. And um, rode around, walked through like a couple of stores, malls and stuff. Not like a mall, it's like a. Uh, like a flea market, really. I don't know. It's kind of wicked, day. Um, it is what it is. Uh, and um, the next day, we went back to that little rinky dink gym <laughs> for the next, for the second day of trial. Uh, got there. The coach was like, we're not having a trial there. Somebody, I forgot what he said why we wasn't having this, the second day of trial there or whatever. Uh, so, so he just said he was going to call everybody, let them know. They made the team or not, and that he was going to um, you know, update the roster and stuff like that after he made a decision and stuff. So we uh, did we leave right then. We went back to the hotel, the hotel got our stuff, so we might as well just go back home. Um, went to the hotel. And I think we already checked out the hotel anyway, so we were going to leave and go right back home after uh, the trials anyway. Um, so we left from the center and went straight back home. Uh, we was almost home and the coach called us up. Called the whole ride home, we just think, man, I hope he called us and told us we gonna we made the team or something like that. Uh, we, I know we were already confident he was gonna make the team. I was confident in, in him too. But I was confident in myself, but I was still kind of like, yeah, a lot of guys are pretty good. So, uh, I don't know. So, uh, so we riding home and it was like, Late at night, uh, we finally got in town. Well, no, it wasn't too late. It was probably like eight, nine o'clock. We finally made it in town. Well, close to town. We still had a good ways to go. But um, anyway, uh, the coach called Will first, I think. And um, no, no, the the guy that I met on the that already on the team, he called me personally and like, hey man, you got the phone with coach. Um, <laughs> He told me to call you and tell you that you made the team, man. So, like, I couldn't even say that for real. I was shocked. I was real shocked. And, um, I was like, real dude. And he was like, yeah, yeah. I thought he was playing with him. So, I thought he was trying to, trying to make a joke or prank or something like that. And I was like, man, you dead ass serious? He's like, yeah, man, I'm dead ass serious. I just got, I just got to talk to him. He told me to call you and let you know that you and the buddy made the team. So, he actually was calling to tell both of us at the same time we made the team. We would do it together anyway. So, um, like we made the team, so he said, um, said we gonna keep in touch to let y'all know when training camp start. Whatever y'all coming down and the training camp, you know, get ready, you know, for the season. Well, so man, me and Will, we all happy and excited. We on the way home, woo, and so Will uh, called his mom and told him, and, you know, she was happy and excited. And said congratulations, both of y'all, so I did. So um, we head home. I called my mom and told her. Um, the good news, her and my brothers and sisters and stuff, and told them good news. Uh, and so I ain't go home. I went straight to my mom's house because I was so happy. I couldn't even drive all the way home. So I took Will home. Then so I, there I went to my mom's house to stay night over there. And so, um, long story short, I'm going to skip past for everything else. Of course, like talk to the coach and stuff like that, which I get situated with a uh, hotel, not hotel, but uh, housing. In Texas, uh, they was gonna be uh, getting getting us ready for our own apartments and stuff. And um, you know, just relocating to Texas, and all this, you know, moving on something like that. And um, so uh, before all that, before we even made the trials, uh, I had been talking to Coach about the pay. Uh, he was saying that uh, they only play like twenty to thirty games a season. Uh, I think that's including tournaments. 
uh, playoffs at the end of the season. And um, he said people get paid like five cents five a game. I'm like, okay, cool. I, mean, I was trying to calculate everything like that. And um, <laughs> said they play like between like two, three games a week, something like that. And um, so I thought it was pretty cool. I, was, I guess I didn't calculate pretty good, you know, because I had to think about paying for rent. Uh, paying bills, uh, gas in the car, stuff like that. And I still was paying on my car that I actually had, so I had to, well, I ended up had to drive that car down there to Texas anyway, you know, get situated. <coughs> and so, uh, like I said before, I, we even went to Texas then. So, made it home, you know, posted the good news on Facebook and everything like that, everybody congratulating me, blah, blah, stuff like that. And, um, so after a while, after I talked to the people about, you know, getting situated with a uh, apartment and stuff like that, uh, try to find a decent place, couldn't. So I said, I checked back. Uh, so a while I went back, well, about a while I went by. So some told me to tell, ask the coach again about the paint stuff like that. So I talked to him about the paint. Uh, everything kind of went upside down and everything went downhill then. Uh, he told me, uh, the pay is gonna be kinda kinda iffy on that part, uh, because this is we a first year team. Uh everybody's not gonna be guaranteed five hundred seventy five a game going in. Uh, especially newcomers that's uh, first time playing in this uh this league or whatever. I'm like, okay, cool. So what's uh the pay that we could be possibly paid with? Well, so he was saying probably like Maybe in the ballpark of like 315, 325. Some of them he said somewhere between that and like 345, 375, something like that. I'm like, no, man, they ain't, they ain't even cool, man. It didn't sound right. I know it's a first year team, but there ain't no way you're going to be changing the uh, price. Like, they should have been had that figured out before uh, actually the first time. You, you know, if you're going to be a, a businessman as far as like having a pro team like that, and you want guys to come play for your team and help you make money, um, you know, for like bringing in sales, bringing in, uh, bring in crowds to your team, to your team and stuff like that. Uh, you gotta be on your, on, your, on your game, man. You can't be doing shit like that. That shit pissed me off. So I told Will about it. He's like, man, I don't see that. They all wanted, I went about it too. I said, he talked to his mom about that. Um, asked him about the pay and stuff like that, about the housing and all that. And so we, we both decided we're not, we're not gonna go back, man, because that shit ain't cool, that shit ain't right. So it's so fish about that. We it just, it just something we we felt inside that if we go down there, we're gonna be stuck and not quite stranded, but trying to you no know, try to figure out what we're gonna do after that. If we was gonna be able to get paid and be able to you no know, make a living down there, well, so you know, crazy. So we decided not to go. Um, I ain't even contacted the coach back. I told him, I, I was like, man, I ain't, I'm not going back there. So, Will made a decision to uh, just go back to school. He ended up, he actually ended up going to uh, Lee University for his uh, senior year in college and graduated from there and then uh, went on to play in Germany. And so, what I did, I just, just kept working like I was and just playing. Summer league and winter league basketball, like I was, I, nothing changed really for, for me. So that's what I did. But one thing I did do, um, I ended up contacting uh, the general manager, the general manager for the Mobile team. Uh, they had some my pro team too in the same league. Uh, Jason Caffey was the coach. I'm not sure if he is um, still now. Uh, you know, Jason Caffey played for the Bulls. He played for Alabama back in um, in college. Played for the Bulls and a couple other teams before he retired. I think mean, back in 2002, something like that. But um, yeah, I talked to the general manager. They already had a trial, so it's kind of too late for trial. But I told the whole situation about the coach, about the trials, and about the uh, confusion about the pay and all stuff like that. He was like, uh, you won't have a problem with that here because um, we, we've been in the league for a while now. And you know, um, they got everything situated, you know, figured out for us, like how they gonna pay people, uh, how they gonna help with the housing, uh, the moving situation, all this stuff. They was pretty much set 
to what they were going to be successful as far as, like, uh, take care of their players and stuff. So, I don't know. Okay, cool. I'm like, man, I know trials are over with. I was wondering, you know, if I could come do, like, a personal trial. He's like, yeah, sure. So, he uh, told me he's going to talk to the coach and the other, you know, the other coaches and stuff. And um, he got my information. Uh, I told him about how uh, I played in high school and some league, one league basketball. Uh, and stuff like that and told him the exact same stuff I told the other coach or whatever. And um, he said, okay, what I do, I talk to the coach like that, but you still come out here, try out, at least come do that, and we'll see about, you know, who can get you on the team with them. And um, I'm like, okay, cool. So he sent me the address. Fun thing about it, the address is on Hillcrest Road in Mobile, I think. Was it in Mobile? You smart. Dude, yeah, it was in Mobile. Uh, the name of the road was Hillcrest Road. Uh, now look, I think back on that, that might that might have been a sign that I should have went because I, di I didn't even go because I was I was nervous and worried about if I go go there and be the same situation or worse, like um down in Texas. So I didn't I didn't even go. Um, so it's kind of ironic that the road when they Hillcrest Road because I went to Hillcrest High School um here in Alabama. So I didn't, I didn't even go. I didn't even go. Uh, probably should have went, but it was too late. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, that I did try for some of my pro team. I did make the team. Uh, just didn't work out. And But what could have worked out if I had a, went to that mobile team, tried out for them, made the team. So it yeah, probably look well, but I look back at it now. I'm thinking right now, if I did, I wouldn't have my wife, I wouldn't have my daughter. I wouldn't be in the situation I'm in right now. Um, so, maybe it's, good, it's a good thing that I didn't go really, because I wouldn't have a beautiful family that I have right now. So, it is what it is. So, I'm just, I'm glad, I'm happy with the situation I am at right now. So, it's all that matters, really. That's all that matters. That's, that's all that Yeah. So, Sorry this video was too long for you guys, uh, but to the ones that did watch all the way through, thank you. Uh, especially, don't forget to hit the like button, uh, subscribe if you're new. Um, do me a quick favor. In the comments below, just hit Smooth Squad, hashtag Smooth Squad, to let me know that y'all watched the whole video. And um, <laughs> let me stop talking and let y'all go on with y'all life. Y'all have a smooth and blessed day. Peace.